Hi everyone, welcome to the video. This video is going to show you how to create a pearl shell-like finish at home on pretty much any surface. So we are going to be using Artisan Premium Chalk Paint as a base. What this means is it's got high adhesion, so you can create this finish on pretty much anything without sanding or priming. So I am talking set of drawers, the fronts of set of drawers, lamp bases, decor, um, whatever you feel could benefit from um, a glamorous pearl shell like finish. So today I'm actually going to be demonstrating it on this vase because it's going to be quick and easy for me to show you. So this is a vase, very tired, I've picked it up for a hefty 50 cents at the op shop. You can see it's got some chips on it, it's very stained, um, slightly oxidized and there's the original sticker on it. Back to front for you guys. Oh, there we go. $14.99, originally from the warehouse back in its day. Um, but I know that people do have some decor items around um, where they are really tired um, and often people will throw them out. But doing an artisan finish on it can really transform it, allow you to reuse it and create a beautiful piece of decor for your home. Um, or go to the op shop and go and purchase something. Look for its a nice shape. Um, look for a good size and proportion and um, you know you can create something pretty special and transform it and also help the environment as well. So um, this is metal, so we're doing it straight over a metal surface. Um, some ideas on where you can place this finish and, and some, um, some of my thoughts of where it would look absolutely beautiful. Um, sets of drawers, so the fronts of sets of drawers um, I imagine the frame painted in um, something like carbon black or something softer like old espresso to frame the pearl shell-like finish um, on the drawers. I think that would look absolutely stunning. Things like lamp bases, if you've got a lamp base, um, something large and bulbous, um, you know, doing a pearl shell-like finish on that would be absolutely stunning. Um, it is a very versatile finish, so it can fit into a home that has some maybe some tropical type um, styling, which uh, my home has. Um, it can also fit into a French country style home. It can fit into um, something contemporary. Um, so it is a very bespoke artisanal finish, um, but it can fit into many styles. So that's what I really love about this finish. Um, and with a little bit of know-how, it's actually very simple. So once you know kind of the ins and outs behind it, um, it's, yeah, really, really simple to do. So I'm just going to quickly talk you through what products you're going to need from the Artisan Company range. So you'll need some Door Grage Premium Chalk Paint. That's what I'll be using today as the base. Um, you'll need some corrugated cardboard. I'll explain that later on. You, in the Metallic Alchemy range, you're going to need the Lunar Pearl Metallic Concentrate, the Illuminator, and you'll need the metallic concentrate measuring spoons because I'll be giving you the exact recipe of what, I, um, of what I'm doing today so you can replicate that at home. Also need a second and third colour in the premium chalk paint um, range. I'm using a pink and a blue, bruised petal and old denim. These can be swapped out um, to create a slightly different effect um, and that's completely up to you. And you may adjust these, this pink and this blue based on what you have or based on the tones around your home. Okay, so that's probably enough talking for now. Um, so I am going to now get started, show you how to do a pearl shell-like finish at home. It's a real tongue twister, a pearl shell-like finish at home. All right, just making sure I'm here. Great, I think you can see everything pretty well here. Um, so first things first, we are going to grab a premium chalk paint and door grage. So door grage is a lovely, lovely neutral. It's a very sophisticated neutral and really adjusts to its environment really, really well. It's really soft and pretty. You'll be able to see in a moment when I open the can. So premium chalk paint adheres to pretty much any surface without sanding or priming. So you can see there, it's a beautiful sophisticated neutral. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab some and I'm just gonna put it in a bowl. It's like scooping out yogurt. I think that's probably enough. So I've got some in a bowl and I'm just gonna leave that to one side 
and let it just kind of air out a little bit just to make it a little bit thicker and um, with more body and, and so that I can create some texture a little bit later on. And then I've got my Style Mister Series 2020 brush. I've just washed this, so it's a little bit damp. Um, but you definitely want a nice dry brush. And we're just going to dip it into the Premium Chalk Paint. I'm just going to move this so you can actually see. There we go. Um, so we're just going to dip it into the Premium Chalk Paint. And we're just going to brush it on. And just do a really quick coat. Brush it in all directions. At school holidays at the moment, you could also get the kids to do this. Um, just get them to put it on really messy. Sometimes they are actually better at creating texture than adults, I have found in the past. Adults get a little bit nervous about painting like this. I think it's just not in our nature. Um, we always want to be perfect with everything. Um, but yeah, let loose, have fun, paint in all directions. You can see, just paint over, paint over that little chip. And we're just going to base coat it in door grage first without too much thought. It's just a matter of getting that premium chalk paint on that vase. Oh, it didn't take a before photo. But you hate it when that happens. You forget to take your before photos, but you did get to see it um, in the video. I'm just going to paint this top edge. And that's pretty much it. So as fast as that, that literally took me two minutes on camera. And that was talking about it all at the same time. So now we're going to leave this to dry or hair dry it. <laughs> Okay, so that is all dried now, super quick. Um, and now I am going to put my brush to one side. I'm going to grab my bowl that I decanted earlier. That should be enough time. And I'm going to grab some cardboard. And what I'm going to do is rip a little bit. And this has got some corrugation in it. So what you want to do is get some corrugated cardboard, if I rip this side, it's thin layer, there's that corrugation there. So that's what I'm after. And I'm just going to kind of rip a bit of an organic kind of shape to it. So there's my little shape. Um, I might just take that corner off. I don't want anything too perfect or structured. So that's my corrugated cardboard. And I'm going to use the side here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my paint like so. And I'm going to work it, let's start on the side first, in like half circles all the way through and I just keep spreading it out hopefully you can see that just kind of like pressing down spreading the paint the beautiful thing about premium, our premium chalk paint is that it's got a lot of body to it so you can really manipulate it really easily to create different textures Just be free, but kind of like you can see, I'm kind of swooping it in like a half semicircle, half circle swoops. So that 
is kind of my texture at the moment. And then I'm going to go again on the other side. And you can watch. And it's about getting the texture right. No two will ever be the same because of the way that this is done. And that's the bespoke beauty of it all. So if you were doing a drawer, you would probably do it all in the same direction. So do one drawer in this way. The next drawer you'll use the same motion. So it kind of looks seamless as part of one pearl shell-like piece. Probably the only thing to think of if you're doing it on a larger scale. That's kind of my texture. I'm going to dry that with a hairdryer and take you through the next part. Okay, so this is the colour of Dual Grage, all dried. Probably, I don't know if you can see that very well. You can see all the textures on there. So I like hitting it. So I'm going to do a second coat, and this is just playing with the textures, just to fill in the gaps where, you know, I might want a little bit more texture. Again, in the same kind of half scoopy motion with my corrugated cardboard. And I'm just kind of filling in, really, where I feel like it needs to be filled in a little bit more with texture. And then I'm going to go again. And I'm doing smaller motions so that I can... Smaller half circles. Super fun. To do. And I think even after... Um, watching this video, if you're a mum or a nan over the school holidays, you could even do this with the kids. It's like that simple once you know how. That's done. And it's actually a lot of fun. Another half. So cool. cardboard gets too wet you may need to rip that section off I'm actually using you can see here I'm using this part here um, which isn't so wet so I'm actually putting pressure down on that to get my corrugated cardboard marks on there but if you're doing a big piece you'll just need to rip um, once it gets too wet and too flat um, and start on a fresh section that's the part of the beauty is that that's where you'll get your irregularities. Oh, that's a big tongue twister. Because um, the beauty of this is you don't want it to be structured and you don't want it to be perfect. I'm just going to run over the last little turn over. That's it. I'm going to now use my hairdryer to finish off drying that.
So now that this is dry, we're going to add some color to it. So I've got here, oh, that was already off, uh, Bruised Petal in the Premium Chalk Paint. Beautiful kind of dusky uh, pink. Um, so I am going to do this here so you can see. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of colour on this brown paper. If you've got some baking paper, that works better. I just run out of baking paper, so I don't have baking paper yet. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Oh, can you see that? No, actually, move that back, back, back. So a little bit of premium chalk paint and bruised petal, a little bit of water, mix it, and I'm going to create like a dye. Very, very subtle. Don't want it to be too strong. Mix that all in. I'm just going to add a little bit more water to it. So I want it kind of like a really runny consistency. So you can see there, it's very, very runny. All right, that's good. And then um, you're going to need some clean, lint-free rags. And I am going to use my Style Mister brush again this time. So I'm going to pick up my color wash, which is just diluted premium chalk paint. And I'm just going to brush it on just here and there. I'm gonna grab a clean and free rag and I'm going to rag that around. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just here and there and I'm going to rag that around, like so. Again on this side, rag that around. Again here, ragging it around. And then I'm going to use Old Denim Premium Chalk Paint. That's the colour there, gorgeous. Move that out of the way. Do the same thing, I'm going to dilute it with a bit of water. You don't need a lot, so definitely a sample, sample pots is perfect. Now Old Denim is a much darker colour, so I'm going to make sure I dilute that quite a lot, because I don't want it to be too strong. So that looks about good. Just gonna wipe my brush off on a rag to, off to the side. And then I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to apply that here and there. I'm going to grab my rag and just rag it off. I'm looking for lots of variation in colour, very soft colours, quite pastel -y. very sporadically. So there we go. So I have done very, very subtle color washes um, over the door grage, very subtle. And then I'm gonna let that dry. So I'm gonna hair dry it. You want it to dry completely. So here I've got, I'm going to hold the camera so you can see, 240 grit sandpaper. I've got my wash on here already. So you can see the washes have just merged all together. I've allowed it to kind of merge together. 
Now, although I want to create a shell, a pearl shell finish, I want it to be smooth when I touch it. So I'm going to grab the 240 grit sandpaper and sand lightly sand over. And you'll see that it just comes off like chalk dust. It's going to smooth out the texture, but we don't want to sand all the texture off. So just the light, so you can see there, it's just coming off like chalk dust. And it's bringing out the door glaze a little bit more on those peaks of the texture. So just a light sand. Just going to run my hand on it, across it and it feels really lovely. No, no irregular textures. I just want it to be, you can still feel the texture, um, but it's quite smooth and silky and no irregular texture. And that just comes off like chalk dust. We'll do the same here. side see those little peaks in there I want to get rid of those because I want it to, I want to flatten that off brilliant so once you've given it a light sand then we are going to make it shine exciting okay so that's where it's at now the color is going to dull down a little bit because you've sanded it the premium chalk paint and it's gone really kind of chalky but once we put um our pearl on it it's going to bring it back to life so <clears throat> don't worry too much if the color is faded as you're sanding it it just kind of scuffs it and does its thing if you've done premium chalk paint and waxes before the same thing is once you put the waxes on the colors richen back up um so i'm going to put the camera back on the stand okay so we are ready to make this luminous and pearly we've got our bases on there we've got our base um texture on there we've done some really subtle color work on there and that's all it needs for this finish you can't have strong color works on it because it's really subtle it's supposed to just catch the light and adjust the pearl um lunar pearl just very very, very slightly so it needs to look like this really really subtle rather than strong patches of color um so put that to one side for now and i am going to grab i'm gonna wipe this remove this my beaker i'm going to grab my artisan illuminator from the metallic alchemy range so basically the metallic alchemy range is a two-part system and you're able to now mix your own metallics in your own um, home and create different densities, different finishes. Um, that control is fully in your hands. So this is a brand new one. And definitely what you want to do is give it a really, really good stir, the illuminator. So you want to disperse everything in there. I'm going to grab my spoons, just looking for my sticks, there they are. So give it a really, really good mix before you use it, just like anything else. And then I'm going to measure out 20 mils. So this is my recipe that I'm sharing with you. And here I've got the metallic um, alchemy lunar pearl metallic concentrate. So it comes in powder form. Now, I want to give it a really good shake. Turn it upside down. A very, very, very good shake. Turn it upside down. Give it a shake. You want it dispersed evenly. You want the powders to be light and fluffy. And then when you open it up, you want it to be, you can see that the concentrate is really light. It's very even. The powder's not chunky it's not kind of gathered together it's kind of very light and fluffy now the recipe for this um so these are the metallic concentrate spoons that you can purchase and they are measured in a dash um a tad a pinch a drop and a smidgen so if i was to show you the drop and compare that to my fingernail 
you can see how small that is. So these are super mini um, measuring spoons. So for this one here, I am going to do six dashes to 20 mils. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that doesn't, it's not much out of the jar at all. But six, da six dashes to 20 mils and then give it a really good stir. Gonna mix that all up. I'm gonna pour that out onto my dish. And I'm gonna clean that straight away. So you definitely wanna clean all your beakers and all your tools straight away with the metallic alchemy system. It is a very, very strong metallic system. So the upshot is that you can create these beautiful metallic finishes that are super durable and strong. But when you're mixing and using your tools, you want to take care not to leave them out. You want to wash everything straight away. Um, these Petri dishes will usually need a good scrub um, to get the metallic alchemy out. A good tip is if it has dried out on there, I would just pour a little bit of illuminator back in just to reactivate what's dried in there and then scrub it out plain. So that's a really good tip. Now, we've got our vase. And I'm going to bring that closer to you so you can see if I go like that. Yeah. I'm going to grab the spalter brush. Spalter brushes, you know, anything with the Style Me Still One series is really, really great for metallics. They've got super soft bristles, really fine, beautiful for creating flawless metallics. But in this case, it is a textured one. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the pearl. And in the same motion that I did the corrugated cardboard in, I am going to do half circles as well. I think I might brush that. So following. If you are drying it with a hairdryer, it needs to be on cool and you need to move it around. I'm going to mix my mix again because it's been a little while and I want to disperse everything evenly. I'm going to do the same thing I did the first time. If you can see that, that's after the second coat. So I'm gonna just dry that off. So when the magic happens, make sure there's no drips or anything like that. I don't know if you can see, but you can actually see the motions of that spalter brush going in half circles there. I'll take a video of it when we're all done. Yeah you, yeah, you can kind of see it. Okay, so you can see here, this is quite beautiful. Like it's um, 
It's very subtle, the washes underneath, and it's very seamless and quite natural. So I'm going to decide when the light hits it. So, let's see. But I think I might go one more quick coat. So you really just want to build up the Lunar Pearl slowly to work in with the underlying textures and the washes. Take it slow and the more you put on there, the, the more Lunar Pearl you put on there, the more it will overpower the base colours. So you want to get it to kind of a level where you're happy with it. That's the beauty about doing it yourself. It's just what you like. Yeah, I think that's pretty good for me. Sometimes it's easier to take it slow and build up the coats when you're doing something like this finish rather than going on and doing it really strong and losing everything um, and, and not being able to get that beautiful variation that you get um, on a, in a pearl finish or a shell-like finish. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay. Beautiful. all there is to it. From metal to a shell-like finish. Pretty easy once you know how. So whatever surface you want, corrugated cardboard, give it a quick paint of premium chalk paint and door grayish. Use your corrugated cardboard, lots of half circles, two coats of that texture. Do your two color washes over the top, make it really subtle and pastely. Give it a light sand, two to three coats of the Lunar Pearl and you can create this finish pretty much on anything you like from furniture, lamp bases, decor, whatever um, and everything dries really quick so when we're saying one to two coats we're talking like we, you can use a hair dryer and make it dry instantly or you can wait with the Lunar Pearl generally about half an hour natural dry time with the chalk paint about an hour sometimes faster depending on the environment so there you go, I'm going to take photos and I'm going to take some videos of this once I put some flowers in it so you can kind of see it in its entirety. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope this is not talk away from the, from the bars. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I hope this has inspired you to uh, create something special for your home. Um, the metallic alchemy system and the premium chalk paint together can allow for some amazing bespoke finishes. And we're super excited to open that door for our customers or for you. Um, and I look forward to sharing lots of other finishes um, this year with everybody. But to start off with, I think this pearl finish is pretty special um, to share with you all. Let me know what you think. And if you do a project um, in this finish, feel free to um, please send it through to connect at theartisancompany.co.nz we would absolutely love to see. Um, all right, everyone, take care and happy painting.